I would like to ask you a couple of questions for Orange Magazine. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, what is the importance of the Forum for the Council of Europe? Well, this is, uh, first of all, the second edition that we are running of the World Forum for Democracy. And as you can hear in the title, World Forum for Democracy, uh, we are the house of democracy here with this uh, hemicycle where the meeting is partly taking place. So it goes without saying that we are very keen to understand what's happening to democracy. Whether democracy is in a good health or whether we need to do something about it with a view to reinvigorating it. Thank you. Um, a second question, so how can the forum concretely um, make a difference in the world? Well, um, this is maybe a very ambitious, uh, uh, let's say, uh, target to say what we can change. I think that what is very important is the fact that a process like the one that we are now delivering through these uh, subsequent meetings, mm -hmm. these yearly meetings on democracy uh, are taking place. As I said, we started last year, we have this event this year, we will continue in the years to come. So we are going to offer on a regular and sustainable manner a platform where people from all over the world, not only Europeans, can come together and share their vision of democracy, but also exchange uh, what we call smart practices of real uh, participation of a strengthened, accountable democracy, etc., etc. So this year we have identified a subject which is really meaningful at world level, because uh, in the globalized world in which we live nowadays, new technologies and new communication channels uh, such mm -hmm. as Facebook, Twitter, etc., etc., are absolutely present. So the uh, interest of the debate would be to enable many people from all over the world to bring their voice to speak up in favor of democracy, mm -hmm. highlighting the uh, benefits but also the risks involved in uh, bringing together democracy and the new technologies. So in a very uh, short manner, uh, I believe that what we can do is exchange of views, mobilization for democracy, and also what kind of uh, rules, uh, if rules or what kind of measures should be taken with a view to guarantee a perfect partnership between new technologies and democracy, and not one preventing the other from existing, but how can they flourish together, helping each other? Thank you. You're welcome. So Strasbourg will be uh, the new capital for democracy? Uh, well, we uh, hoped to be uh, the capital for democracy over the last uh, 60 years, uh, but with these uh, fora and uh, being able to open our doors, mm -hmm. our buildings, etc., we hope to be able to uh, reinvigorate this role of the Council of Europe as the House for Democracy. Thank you. And last question. Um, how citizens could make democratic institutions more transparent? Well, this is one of the issues that we are discussing during these days, and we will hear some very good example in some of the labs, the laboratories mm -hmm. where concrete uh, projects will be presented. Uh, the Internet can indeed help the citizens to follow up what's happening in even remote places, distant places where decisions are taken, uh, so they can share the information, mm -hmm. uh, possibly. I say possibly because it's not easy to share information unless you have the right education to be able to know what is important, what is not, in order to avoid that you get lost in papers and words. Uh, but it is important that we open a door, that we facilitate access to information, because that is uh, an important manner for people to participate, and on the other side for structures and institutions to be transparent. So access to information is something that new technology can certainly help uh, to develop. And that is a very concrete uh, thing. The other thing is accountability. 
based of course on transparency because then if you find out that certain things are not going the way in which you would have expected them to go on the basis for instance of your representatives in parliament uh, then you can always go back to your parliamentarian and raise questions communicate with him or her and try to find out why what they are doing the voting that they are making does not correspond to the commitments they took when they were elected so issues of transparency, accountability are extremely important. But also um, citizens can take a lot of advantage from networking among themselves, not so much for deliberative purposes, but more for consultative purposes. So you can have e-petitions, for instance, you can have exchange of views on a certain uh, issues that can be very important for citizens themselves. And it's important to know also that more and more the politicians themselves who run our democratic systems, they are very keen to look every day on their, um, let's say, iPhone or to look at the mails they receive. So it's a good way for them also to hear the voices of citizens uh, in the member states.